be a lot like the Q&A back in, what was it now? Just after uh, the new year. So, uh, yeah, this is going to be a lot... This is going to be a lot like the Q&A back in, what was it? January? Yeah, I think it was January. I believe I went over some of this in uh, a recent vlog. I'm not sure if that vlog ever got uploaded, though. I think it did. Um, so if you haven't seen it, the vlogs yet, please go and check them out. Today's video is just going to be like more about getting a little bit more personal with me um, because you guys just know what, like things that I'm interested in and you really like haven't really... I'm not going to give you too many details about myself because obviously I still want to stay personal. If you are new here, please be sure to subscribe and become a kid in the... Kid Squad, that's what it was, okay. So I'm not like gonna have any specific categories for this or anything, like I'm gonna save on editing as much as I can. So let's start off with the first one. So, the first one is fear of certain toilets. So I know that this one just seems like totally crazy and like why would you be afraid of toilets? But the truth is that, um, okay so when I was younger, um, our toilet like got plugged. I know, kind of a TMI, but this is what started it off, and I don't remember this, but my dad apparently remembers it, um, our toilet got plugged, and it kind of freaked me out a little bit, so ever since then, I've been afraid of, like, automatic toilets, like, ugh, anytime I'm on those, I just cringe, ugh, the airplane toilet ones, um, if you've ever been, ugh, if you've ever been on an airplane, uh, and you've used their toilets, then you know what they look like. You know what I'm talking about here. So like, they're like, they look aluminum and they don't look like regular toilet. And especially like that little, the drain. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I know that this is like the weirdest thing to be afraid of. So yeah, um, I'm pretty much afraid of it. any toilet that doesn't look like mine. I went to the park a few weeks ago and I used one of their toilets and it wasn't even automatic. It was just simply aluminum and it had a regular toilet flusher thing you know that little pump whatever you call it so i gotta use that and i'm like oh heck no because that did not look like a normal toilet that looked like some sort of robotic thing um next one is fear of bees and this one is actually somewhat rational i'm not as afraid of bees as i used to be oh my gosh if you put me near a bee whenever i was younger i would have like screamed and ran away this is more rational because like there are a few members, I know of at least my dad, I think one of my other family members might be allergic, but I can't remember, but I know for sure that my dad is, and I've never been stung before, knock on wood, I've got my bed wood right here, so knock on wood, I've never been stung, stung before, two reasons why I don't want to be stung, first, if I do get stung and I am allergic, we got some issues to deal with, second, if I do get stung and I'm not allergic, I still have to deal with the pain. It's grown up a little bit, but still, I do not like them bees. Okay, this next one, uh, I'm not even sure if I should share this. I've had a lot of fake friends. I just don't really know how to choose friends until, like, I don't know what my friends are like until I've been friends with them for a while. And, uh, recently I have had to end a few friendships just because they just weren't the best for me. Like, I just did not feel good about it and it was just tearing me apart inside so yeah I definitely had issues with friends for a while um I do have some pretty good friends right now I'm trying to choose my friends more carefully now but you know sometimes there's just things that are like whoa they've changed so yeah off of that now oh boy okay the next one I was bullied a lot when I was younger oh I was a bully when I was younger too for a couple of years and then I just grew up. I don't get bullied as much anymore but you know it has had an impact on like how I think sometimes like sometimes I'll get into these cycles of uh, oh well are people going to start judging me if I do this or people are probably thinking this about me right now and like it's just something that I need to like deal with. I'm not sure if I'm keeping some of this stuff in. Now on to a happier note. I said this in one of my vlogs, um, I was talking about, uh, how 
it was like on my birthday and stuff, and I was talking about how we were going to go home and watch How to Train Your Dragon. Oh my gosh, you guys, I will never get tired of How to Train Your Dragon. I mean, I might if I watch it too much, but I don't think that will happen easily. But I love How to Train Your Dragon. So I have a story time based on the most recent How to Train Your Dragon trailer. Um, so if you want to see that, comment it down below. It's just going to be like really short, but it's super funny at the same time. I'm laughing about it right now. <laughs> Alright. Oh, okay, this next one is Broken Bones. Uh, so you guys know that I broke my ankle. In fact, I did a story time on that, but I broke my jaw. Like, when was it? Like, four years ago now. I think we're going on five years ago now. Hey guys, if you want a story time on this, I can give you one. So a story time on something or other, and then a story time on this. <laughs> Um, which I will link the broken ankle story time down below. My jaw being broken caused a lot of anxiety, but like at school, I would like start getting panic attacks like, oh my gosh, I'm going to throw up or something because I was put on this medication to help ease the pain up whenever I first broke my jaw. And no, I didn't get my jaw watered shut, but if you want that story time, I will tell you what happened. Um, but I was put on this medication. And my dad says that I was taking so much of it, like, not so much of it, but I was just on so much medication that my stomach couldn't handle it, so, like, I threw up. But, like, I thought that I was just gonna, like, burp or something, but I actually just threw up. Then, anytime, like, I had to burp or anything, like, after I got back to school, because it was a, I think I was out of school for a good week, because I just was not feeling well. Um, and after I got back to school, like, I was there for me, I, like, I was having to burp, and I, like, kept thinking, like, I didn't realize that I had to burp at the time, like, I thought that I was legit gonna throw up, so I told my teacher, like, can I go to the nurse, because I feel like I'm about to be sick, so I eventually went up going to the nurse, and my parents, my mom, at least, comes to pick me up, and I'm home from school the rest of the day, um, but that's how my anxiety started off, so from there on, it, like, anxiety pretty much controlled my life for, like, two or three years, um, but it was getting to the point where, like, I was even afraid to go out of the house, because it started with, I was having anxiety about what if I throw up, then I was starting to have anxiety, like, oh my gosh, I can't breathe, which, I don't know how that even started off, I think it might have just been another anxiety thing about, like, burping or something, I don't know, um, and then I eventually wound up having anxiety about, like, having stomach problems. You know, I couldn't even leave the house to go to a party without my mom because I was so nervous about anxiety. So that school year, I took a hold of my anxiety and just, like, faced it. Like, in school, I all of a sudden just started feeling like I had to, like, run to the bathroom or something. And I didn't have any issues. Like, I just... I just kept my butt out. I just kept my butt in that chair. And I didn't even raise my hand to get up or anything. I just kept my butt in that chair. Sat there all the way through the anxiety attack. Pushed through it. And ever since then, I've been able to control my anxiety. Like, sure, there, there are still a few times where I have anxiety struggles. Like, okay, I feel like I spent a little bit too much time talking about anxiety. So I'm going to go on to my love for water bottles. And this is just like... Totally random. So I've discovered recently that I like water bottles a lot. Um, anytime I see a water bottle, I get excited and I want to grab it. And I've got like five water bottles as it is. I'm going to try and hurry up with this because my camera just like quit memory or whatever. Um, so, yeah. Okay, so I somehow love space. Like, I mean, I feel like... It's weird not to love space or have any interest in it because space is kind of like the unknown to us or it's not so much anymore but uh, I still am fascinated with space. It's something that I've learned about and it just fascinates me just seeing how all of these things can be created in space. I don't know how to explain it but I just really like space. Okay this next one is actually like a creative part of me, I love writing, like, I love it to death, so, like, whenever I was younger, I used to write a lot of stories, I don't write stories as much anymore, but, um, there are a few stories that I have worked on it over the past two or three years, I 
really like volcanoes. I don't think I like them as much as I used to, but studied them for a little bit a few years ago in school. And I remember I was really fascinated just that they connect to the mantle of the earth and uh, just that like the stuff that a volcano spews out whenever it's like erupting, that's from the mantle. So I was really fascinated by that for a long period of time. This is going to sound weird coming from a gymnast who's it, done routines on bars and stuff, but I do not like heights. Like, it's okay if I get a little bit high up, but have you ever seen like that high bar, like the one that goes feet high? Yeah, I do not like that. Like, whenever I'm up there and I'm trying to do a back hip circle or something, I do not enjoy being up there because like, it's a long distance to fall. It kind of creeps me out can't really explain it, it's just, I know there's a lot of people that are afraid of heights and they know where I'm coming from, but, um, it's just funny to think that me as a gymnast would be afraid of heights since I'm, like, doing bars and stuff, and I'm also doing beam. Okay, this one is pretty much a dead giveaway. I love gymnastics. Like, I talk about it all the time. How could you not know that I love gymnastics? I, I'm like a little kid on the inside. I love it just bouncing all over the place, like just part of who I am. I'm like a little monkey. <laughs> but yeah, gymnastics um, is one sport that actually fits my personality, I feel like. I love it to death. Before I did gymnastics, I actually used to do ballet, and I did it for six years. I think six years. That's what I keep telling people. I'm pretty sure it was six years. Um, and I enjoyed it for a couple of years, and then I started to get really bored with it because it was so sedentary. Look that word up if you don't know what it means. But I just felt like it was so sedentary. And uh, I just decided that it was time to move on to something different after like a couple of years of me being tired of it. Okay, this last thing. Bugs. The living snot out of me. I cannot stand magazines that like have that chalkboardy feeling on the pages. Like you go to run your nails over them and they've like got that chalkboardy feeling. I do not like that. So that is pretty much it for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed getting to know me more. By the way, I feel like there are so many people in the world who do gymnastics. Like literally everywhere I look, somebody's doing gymnastics. Like it's crazy. So yeah, once again, be sure to subscribe so that you can become another kidder. Get it? Get it? I think back to school videos are coming soon. Yep. And hope you have an amazing day. All right, toodaloo. <laughs> I was like, replay, replay, replay. If you are new to my channel, please be sure to subscribe and become <gasps> day three. <laughs> There's like 30 bloopers already. Okay.